Hi. Over the past few days, I have trained an object detection and machine learning model with TensorFlow. This model will be run on my Raspberry Pi 4 with the Raspberry Pi camera module. I have decided to tackle a common healthcare use case, which is pill counting. Using the Raspberry Pi 4 camera module, I will be able to count the amount of pills detected in a frame. So now let's move on to my demonstration. The first thing we're going to want to do is SSH into our Raspberry Pi via the command line with SSH Pi at Raspberry Pi. For more information on this, see my last tutorial. And as you can see here, we're in the TF Lite end, which is my virtual environment where I've configured all my changes and programs. So let's start a VNC server. Then using VNC viewer, we can view this. Oops, wrong one. So go to Raspberry Pi 2. And now that we're here, we can open up a terminal in VNC Viewer. Let me switch to my TensorFlow directory. Once here, we can run our program with Python 3 TF Light Detection WebTam.py. Now the camera started. And here you can see that it's able to detect all the pills. and the sections in the frame will appear here. It is uh, fluctuating a little bit due to the low FPS of the Raspberry Pi. But here you can see that it's, it is able to detect all the pills accurately with the confidence coming up right next to the label. So now, let me explain how I've done this. To configure the model, I followed steps from a tutorial by Edge Electronics. This is linked in the description but I will provide a brief explanation of each step I took myself. If you guys want a more detailed tutorial, just say so in the comments and I will make one. The first step I took was installing a TensorFlow GPU on my computer. To do so, I also installed the CUDA toolkit and CUDA library. Using an Anaconda virtual environment, I proceeded to install all the programs and modules necessary for training. However, models can only be trained on the TensorFlow 1.x versions. Then using my phone, I gathered images of the pills I had. These images had lots of variety in different backgrounds, as well as other objects in the frame. I've created a testing set and training set with these images. I created, then using the label LMG, I created an XML file for each image. After this, I created an S a CSV file in Excel with these, as well as other training records. After that, I could finally start the training process with the SSD Quantized MobileNet V2 model, which took about 12 hours on my laptop. This helped me create a label map and an inference graph. Now that training is finished, I built TensorFlow from source in a different virtual environment. This used MSYS2 and Basil. It took another 18 hours for me due to my very slow laptop. I was then able to finish off my model with the TOCO tool, and it was finally ready for testing. Using a file transfer protocol, I transferred the model to my Raspberry Pi. The actual Python program I use for object counting is based off the program by Edge Electronics, with which I integrated the object counting. I will leave my program in the description if you wish to use it. After that, we can successfully count objects with the Raspberry Pi. Now it's your turn. Try it for yourself and train your very own custom model. It can detect anything you wish. If you guys want a more detailed tutorial, just let me know and I'll try my best to make one. But for now, goodbye.